average now. Wait till you see the, you think it's warm now. By the yeah. end of the week, 50 is possible, okay? So today okay. during the afternoon, we don't rise much. We'll be near seasonable levels tonight down into the teens in some spots. But by tomorrow, this is the departure from normal map. You see a lot of yellows, a lot of oranges. That's on the warm side. We're going to be back into the 40s tomorrow afternoon, probably mid 40s for Syracuse and then flirting with 40 or better the rest of the week. By Friday, I'm forecasting 49. Now this next coming weekend, an opportunity for snow here, and I think it's going to be on Saturday with more typical temperatures. We're going to be just above freezing for highs this upcoming weekend, and we'll show you the, that on the seven-day forecast. Cold front came through, dropping our temperatures from the mid-40s yesterday to the mid-30s this morning, closer to 30 by the end of the day. That northwesterly breeze is going to be brisk during the afternoon with a gust to maybe 20 miles per hour this afternoon, and that's going to make it feel a little bit chillier, more seasonable. But not much moisture left with this. We see this band of snow. There's a couple of snow showers coming through into central New York. I think these are going to be scattered and light rain and snow right now in some spots. It'll go over to snow, could get enough for a coating of snow on some colder surfaces at higher elevations earlier today. You know, for the most part, we're not going to have any problems. We've got wet roads. They're going to be drying out. High pressure comes back in. Maybe a decent afternoon to get the car washed before we get some drier air coming in this evening and into tomorrow morning. And then the next system comes by tomorrow afternoon. So let's look ahead with our future cast, then we'll get to the seven-day forecast. We're going to get rid of those scattered light snow showers or flurries as we get towards late morning. They're southeast of Onondaga County, and we should start to work in some partial sunshine this afternoon. The brightest of the sky is going to be around Syracuse North with a mix of sunshine and clouds to end the day. While we're at 35 now, we'll be at 30 degrees towards sunset. Dropping into the 20s this evening, the winds will be dying down during the overnight. It's looking pretty quiet. Teens, 15 to maybe 20 for our low, um, maybe close to 19 here in Syracuse, actually. So we're warming back up into the 40s tomorrow. 41 here at 1 o'clock, hitting a high of 44 with some rain showers in the afternoon. Higher elevations over the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks could get once again a very minor coating of snow on colder surfaces with some wet snow showers. Temperatures will be well above average tomorrow, and I think this is just going to be a repetitive pattern. There may be some flurries on the wet side for Wednesday morning behind a cold front, but then the next system comes in. They're very quick moving. We're back into some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon. We're warming back up so that we'll be going to Thursday. Again, it's mostly rain. Now, Thursday morning, if I had to look at the work week, Thursday morning is probably the one period where we could get some freezing rain, some snow mixing in, some sleet, so there may be some slushy or icy roads to start Thursday but we're going to go well back into the 40s in the afternoon and by Friday midday we could be close to 50. So we're a little cooler today 24 tonight just some morning scattered light wet flurries in the afternoon tomorrow we get the next precipitation moving in warm enough for rain showers 44 down to only 32. We're at 41 with wet flurries in the morning on Wednesday not too concerned with accumulation there could be a little bit slick Thursday morning towards mid to late morning is when it moves in with that wintry mix then it's rain periods of rain and rain showers 46 49 mostly dry on Friday that's the Mike Brookins pick day of the week a rain showers possible early and late then rain early on Saturday to periods of wet snow and 34 we're going to watch that closely Abby